Good morning. We're going to read an article about an event that happened last week. Um, it's kind of confusing what happened, and I want us to try and read more about it and find and understand it a little better. Pro-Trump mob storms U.S. Capitol, tries to overturn the election. Here's um, the caption under the picture. A mob of Trump supporters are pictured before they broke through the police barrier on January 6, 2021, and stormed the Capitol in Washington, D.C. Rioters delayed but did not stop Congress voting to affirm President-elect Joe Biden's victory. A violent mob loyal to President Trump stormed the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, January 6. The Capitol is in Washington, D.C. A mob is a large group of people that want to cause trouble or violence. Lawmakers were forced to hide. They had to hide under their desks. Some had to hide in their offices. This is a surprising effort to overturn the 2020 presidential election. It was an effort to keep Joe Biden from replacing Trump in the White House. Trump is a Republican. Biden is a Democrat. Biden is a former vice president. He worked under President Barack Obama. He was declared the winner of the November 3rd election. He will become the president on January 20th. Lawmakers put gas masks on. Gas masks help you breathe if there is toxic gas in the air. Meanwhile, police tried to block the mob. A woman was killed out inside the Capitol. More than 12 people were arrested. Trump encouraged the rioter, rioters. Trump spent weeks attacking the election results. On Wednesday, he told supporters to go to the Capitol to protest. That is the same day Congress formally approved Biden's victory. Some of the Republicans had concerns about the presidential election results. The mob arrived before the vote was finished. By evening, the Capitol was cleared out. Lawmakers went back to counting votes. They were upset by the attack. They said they would stay all night to finish voting. Before dawn on Thursday, they finished. They confirmed Biden won the presidential election. Vice President Mike Pence led the meeting. He announced the final tally. It was 306 for Biden and Trump got 232 electoral votes. The vice president of the U.S. presides over the federal Senate. The vice president does not vote with the Senate. However, if there is a tie, the vice president can break the tie. Each state has a certain number of votes in the electoral college. The number depends on the size of its population. For example, Wyoming has 500, no, 585,000 people, so it gets three votes. California has 39 million people. It gets 55 votes. The candidate who gets 270 out of 538 electoral votes wins the presidency. In almost every state, a candidate who wins more than half the popular vote is awarded all of its electoral votes. Trump tweeted at his followers. He told him it was time to go home in peace. However, he said he still supported their cause. Biden said America democracy was under attack. It was a comment echoed by many in Congress. Some Republican lawmakers agreed. Protesters broke into the Capitol building. There have been protests in front of the Capitol building for hundreds of years. There has also been violence. However, this time it was different. This time it appeared the event started with the blessing of the president. It was also done to overturn a lawful election. Electoral college results have to be officially counted. It is required by the Constitution. The mob fought past police. This happened just after lawmakers began counting votes. The group broke into the building. They shouted and waved Trump and American flags. They marched through the halls. Lawmakers were told to duck under their seats for cover. 
They were told to put on gas masks after tear gas. This was after it was used in the Capitol Rotunda. Tear gas is often used by police to make crowds break up. Some House lawmakers tweeted they were sheltering in place in their offices. Staff members grabbed the boxes of electoral college votes as the evacuation took place. Senator Jeff Markley is a Democrat from Oregon. He said if the boxes had not been grabbed, but the ballots likely would have been destroyed by the protesters. Trump has repeatedly said there was voter fraud in the presidential election. Voter fraud is a legal action meant to change the election results. However, election officials do not agree. Members of Trump's government do not agree either. They say there were no problems that would change the results. All the states confirm the results are fair and accurate. Officials from both parties confirm the results. Now that we've read the article together, please go and complete the quiz.